Hey everyone, welcome to Aprix Demo Day. This time around, we will feature over 20 startups from our current batch operating across the frontiers of AI, blockchain, and Southeast Asia. Before we start the pitches, Aprix partner Jessica will speak a few words about what we've been seeing in the market. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in Aprix Demo Day 25. I hope you are holding up well. 2022 H2 is tough for a lot of people in our industry. The Fed is aggressively raising interest rate. The macroeconomic downturn forces company to cut more on profitability than growth. Tech giants are doing the same, as higher prices cut into their revenue, forcing them to cut costs. The ripple effect is seeing layoffs spree not only in Silicon Valley, but also from most of the tech giants in Southeast Asia. So to kick off, I would like to sort out the recent major impact and progress to the paradigm we identify, which are AI IoT, Web3, and Southeast Asia. First, AI IoT. In the past few months, we actually didn't sense a slowdown in its evolution. Within the scope, we see generative AI, especially DALL-E 2, has drawn lots of attention. The large language models like OpenAI's GPT-3 are also being used to write screenplays, develop video games, and even writing codes. More than a million people have signed up to use GitHub's Copilot, a tool that helps programmers work faster by automatically finishing their code snippets. We're excited to see how these technologies may make your lives easier. Next, I want to touch on Web3. At the time we recorded this video, there was a massive setback triggered by FTX crash. Other artworks has no exposure to it. However, the damage to the industry is huge. I know so many smart, passionate, genuine people in this industry who truly believe in blockchain and putting lots of effort to push it forward. Unfortunately, it makes us an easy target. After the incident, I do see lots of people being in hindsight. But I see more people united together, pulling long-time missionaries, builders, and investors from around the industry to help each other zoom out, discuss why we're here, and pass forward. Disagree with everything related to blockchain is probably not right. We should all clearly figure out which things contributed to the fraud and which things didn't and improve from there. It will take time for us to rebuild trust with the masses, but we believe the washout that we are witnessing now will only benefit the idea of the truly decentralized internet moving forward. If the current shock could leave with some good things, we are expecting clear regulations, more transparent reserve of the centralized exchange, and the users that understand don't trust but verify. These are all good to the industry. Last but not least, Southeast Asia. With the unfavorable macro conditions, the funding decline from 80 deals per month in H1 to roughly 60 deals per month in the recent months. Funding amounts slowed after May, and September we're seeing investment plateauing at around 2 billion US dollars each month. As investors turn cautious, we also see startups are looking at alternative financing such as convertible debt or venture debt. And truth to be told, although the market has cooled down, we still see a sizable amount of new VC funds successfully raised and waiting for good startups to deploy. To sum it up, we believe it will still be tough for the founders in the next six to eight months. If there's any advice I can give to the founders now, focus on your users, focus on the problems you are passionate to solve prepare for winter. Remember, the night is the darkest just before the dawn, but the dawn will come. Today, you will hear startups tapping into different categories, still building. And if you're founders as usual, Upwards is here to help you be the best founder you can be. Thanks, Jessica. Next up, we have our alumni community manager, Joy, who will share some exciting updates from our founder community. Thanks, Michelle. Hey guys, it's Joy, your alumni community manager at AppWorks. Thanks for tuning in to our AppWorks Demo Day 25. Now, 
I am excited to share with you some good news our alumni have achieved over the past few months. Let's take a look. Fugo from Batch 12, Taiwan, an AI stock investment solution fintech startup. They've just secured 3.2 million in Series A. With over 80% of the 200,000 active users from ages 25 to 40, looking for diversified portfolios across the globe, Fugo targets to become the first cross-border internet stock trading broker from Taiwan. AI matchmaker from Batch 17, Taiwan. An AI matchmaking platform with users in over 10 countries. They got acquired by Launch Ashley Group from Singapore and joined as their sixth country brand among GACA. Uspace from Batch 18, Taiwan. The number one shared parking platform recently secured $8.3 million in Series A led by renowned telecom group Taiwan Mobile. They're now working with over 500 parking lots. The total parking slots have reached over 45,000 units. With half a million users and over 2 million transactions accumulated, not only in Taiwan, they will also double down in Japan. Turning search from Best 20, Taiwan. A digital identity passport solution that aims to terminate fraud. Recently secured 1 million in the pre-A round. Certificates issues per month have reached over 10,000 units. They moved their headquarters to the US this year and are now working with Japan government to tap into the local market. Elo from Batch 20, Taiwan. An artificial intelligence voice NLP service platform built for the hospitality industry. They have recently closed their pre-A plus round with $5.8 million. Elo is now featured in 8,000 rooms, including five-star hotels, interacting with guests to provide a smarter staying experience. Glint from Best 20, Singapore. One of SEA's most prominent talent development platforms. Recently raised 50 million in an oversubscribed Series D. Glint currently has 3 million professionals in five markets and 50,000 companies on the platform seeking talents. Waku from Best 22, Indonesia, a startup that provides catering and canteen management services to corporates and government organizations. Recently raised 1 million in C round. It has served 4.3 million meals to around 600 clients since 2019. Party Post from Batch 23, Singapore. Asia's fastest growing crowd influencer marketing platform recently backs a 7 million A1 round. They are now in five markets across Taiwan and SEA, working with over 3,000 brands and have executed over 8,000 campaigns. Congratulations to these startups! The successful fundraising proves their hard earned traction and they are now ready to expand further bring you better products and easier life. We look forward to sharing more alumni good news with you on the next demo day. Stay tuned. Last but not least, a big shout out to all the partners that have supported all the startups. Your support made all the impossible slightly possible. Tough times. Please stay alive through this winter. Let's keep building. Handing the stage back to you, Michelle. Thanks, Joy. We also want to thank our LPs for supporting us over the years. We definitely couldn't have made it this far without you all. Now, I'd like to introduce you to AppWorks Accelerator Batch 25. We kick off the current batch in September 2022. And since then, we've hosted numerous activities and events for the founders to get connected to our ecosystem. Our mission is to help founders become better founders. For this particular batch, we are accelerating the growth of 31 teams and 76 founders, spanning across 15 countries. It's our first time having two blockchain teams from Kazakhstan join our program. We're glad to see more and more startups developing disruptive technologies across the world. This time around, 39% of the teams are working on web solutions and about 38% of the founders are serial entrepreneurs with learnings from their previous startups. We will have 23 demos today. In the first section, 
15 teams building AI solutions or targeting the Southeast Asian market will showcase their product and service to you. In the second section, eight teams in the Web3 space will demo to you the latest blockchain solution they're building. We are confident that many of the teams presenting today will become the change makers of the future. If you are an investor, a business partner, or a customer, I encourage you to choose a few teams to connect with, actively participate in their growth, and ultimately share the fruits of their success in the future. Feel free to scan the QR code or hit the link below the video to find the full list of pitching teams. Enjoy! Let me go over how to best leverage Aprox Demo Day. During the pitch, we will show a QR code at the bottom that you can scan and get more information about the startup. When you're on the team profile page, you can also click Schedule a meeting to arrange a chat with the founder through Calendly. After the team pitches, we'll show a QR code again for you to connect with the startup. All right, let's get the show started. In the first section, 15 startups focusing on AI and the Southeast Asia market will present their products and services to you. First up, we have Xu Chen from CISO AI. Based in Seattle and Taiwan, they're building AI-based customer contact intelligence for cross-border businesses. Let's welcome Xu Chen. My name is Xu Chen Yao. Our company is CISO AI. We provide contact center solutions to cross-border businesses and enterprises with our in-house speech and language AI engines to do conversational analytics and workforce automation. Typical use cases include AI-based auto outbound calls, voice analytics of agents, and brand new cloud native contact centers. Customers observe two to 10 times improvement of agent efficiency. This is a $400 billion market opportunity globally. Our mission is to fundamentally change how enterprises build, manage, and operate contact centers. This is a second startup my co-founder and I started. Our previous exit, Kit.ai, got investment from Amazon's Alexa Fund and Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen and acquired by Baidu. Both me and my co-founder got a PhD in speech and language processing technologies from the Johns Hopkins University. Customers use our products in over 100 countries. We started from Taiwan and gradually expanded to China, Southeast Asia, and North America. These customers range from industries such as fast food, consumer electronics, travel agencies, to banks, insurance providers, and the governments. With a proven track record and a suite of fantastic products, we hope to go to market to the rest of Asia. We are looking for introductions of the following buyer persona, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Thanks, Shi Chen. If you're interested in getting in touch with CISO AI to help with Southeast Asia market expansion, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Davis from KPay. Based in Hong Kong, they're providing payment gateway and SaaS solution to small and medium merchants across Asia. Let's welcome Davis. KPay is a fintech company that empowers small, medium enterprises to unlock its full business potential and efficiency through our total solutions. KP officially began in March 2021, and we achieved strong traction in merchant acquisition as we are currently serving over 14,000 merchants in Hong Kong and Singapore. Due to disparity in bargaining power, SMEs are underserved by traditional payment service providers. KP is a smart payment solution that integrates major payments in one terminal. Merchants have access to KP Merchant Service app, where they have full visibility on their payments data. Our all-in-one solution provides merchants with frictionless collection services and data management solution. Aside from KPay, we have also developed two other flagship products, KConnect and KFund, both to tag the SME lack in digital transformation and lack of clarity in financial and business health, which constrain access to, app, to fair and affordable credit options. We are seasoned entrepreneurs who have been through the startup process and have built successful companies. We are looking for partners and expanding across APAC. We are preparing to raise 25 million. If you share our vision on providing comprehensive solutions for SME, reach out to us. 
Thanks, Davis. If you have an interest in what KPay is doing and are open to help them expand the market to Singapore, Thailand, Japan, and so on, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Evan from Quest. Based in Singapore, they are an alternate income platform for Gen Zs. Let's welcome Evan. I'm Evan here, I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Quest. Today, I'll be sharing with you 10 key facts about my startup, Quest. So the majority of businesses in Southeast Asia, they face high friction in getting talents fast. As reported, the 72% of Gen Zs, we are obsessed to pursue a side hustle, and we are the best people you can hire because we're hungry, resourceful, and influential. So what we did in Quest is we built a request-based platform for different gigs with a focus on marketing services, and these are powered by the Gen Zs across Southeast Asia. Since our launch in July 2021, we have more than 70,000 users on our platform, we have more than 28,000 quests completed. And this has generated to more than a million dollars of income earned between our users. So things get done really quickly on our platform. So let's say you post a quest, help me design my pitch deck. I can guarantee in the next 10 minutes, people will be giving you offers and saying, hey, I can do this for you. And we are loved by our Gen Z's. What we did was we built on through TikTok as an organic way to grow our community. And today we have more than 70,000 followers across our position on our community through TikTok. And this is my Gen Z team here. So what we did was we built a Telegram channel as a way to do MV as an MVP for students to do side classes and errands. And we have grown to more than 5,000 users before the launch of our app. And today we are raising a seed round on safe to accelerate our growth in the different verticals and also for South Asian expansion to the different markets. If something like Git work and Gen Z excites you, come talk to us. We are providing the next millions of jobs in Southeast Asia through flexible opportunities. Thank you. Thanks, Evan. If you're interested in helping out Quest do market expansion beyond Singapore, like in the Philippines and other Southeast Asia markets, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Traving from Cross Group. Based in Singapore, they're a food tech company that valorizes food waste into sustainable beverages to reduce global food waste and loss. Let's welcome Travin. Hey, I'm Travin Singh, and I'm the founder and CEO of Cross Group, Singapore's 20th B Corp certified company. Food waste and loss from the food service, retail, and hotel sectors contributes to about 8% of greenhouse gases. This is where Cross Group comes in. We are a food tech startup valorizing surplus food into beverages for our FMB partner. It's a model that we actually dub valorization as a service. We are in two markets, Singapore and Japan. We have two brands, Crust, our alcohol brand, where we upcycle mostly surplus bread and rice, and Crop, our sparkling soda brand, upcycling fruits and vegetable surplus. Aside from our standalone brand, how we differentiate ourselves in the market is through our sustainable unique label whereby we come in as a B2B partner for f and groups, hotels and supermarkets, and we upcycle their surplus and create their house brand for them. Through such partnerships, we also calculate the CO2 emissions reduction for our partners and give them marketing support as well. These are some collaborations we have done so far across Singapore and Japan. To name a few, we have done beverages for Food Panda, Aman Tokyo, Red Mart, Ritz Carlton Osaka, Gardens by the Bay, and even a beer for F1 Singapore this year. We have shown that our model works and is growing across Singapore and Japan. So far, our total CAGR has increased by almost 90%. Contract size for SUL increased in excess of 150%. Sales channels went up by almost 250%. And number of SUL went up by 145%. We're looking for more partners and investors to collaborate with us as we believe that the future of food should be more collaborative and less competitive. Thank you. Thanks, Trevin. If you're interested in food tech industry and are open to help cross group with the growth in Singapore, Japan, and Taiwan markets, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Agno from CAS LMS. Based in the Philippines, they're building a learning management system that specializes in e-learning technologies and content creation. Let's welcome Agno. Hi, I'm Agno, CEO of CAS LMS, and we're building Canva for e-learning. When we started our company three years ago, we spent the first two years providing a learning management system subscription and a custom e-learning content creation service. Just by doing this allowed us to grow from $40,000 to $1.1 million serving enterprise clients here in the Philippines. And we learned this, custom courses are valuable, but they're complex. And there's no easy way to do this quickly and inexpensively. We think though that we have a key insight that can solve this. 
we discovered that custom courses aren't really as custom as you think. In fact, they're 90% generic. It's only that last 10% that gets customized. And we will use this insight to build a scalable solution to this problem, a library of customizable courses that you can use as Lego blocks to build your own custom e-learning content creation experiences. And we're the best thing to do this. We're experienced edtech entrepreneurs that have built multiple profitable ventures together. So if you have e-learning needs that you need produced or would like to join our upcoming investment round, please get in touch. Thanks, Agno. If you have an interest in what CAST LMS is doing and are open to help with the corporate networks in the region, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Jonathan from Seneca ESG. Based in Singapore, they're an ESG workflow automation software for corporates and financial institutions. Let's welcome Jonathan. Hello, I'm Jonathan Hahn, founder and CEO of Seneca ESG. I have a background in computer science and finance, and I'm also a second time founder, having had a successful exit from my first company. I'm now thrilled to be working on a personal passion of mine, ESG. Environmental, social, and governance is at the heart of what matters to everyone today. Climate change, diversity and inclusion, worker rights, and corporate ethics couldn't be more relevant today. It's a lot to unpack, but we need to do it. And regulators are taking action, rolling out mandatory ES reporting in all major markets. But it's not easy. With countless regulatory policies, standards, and rating systems, companies aren't sure what to measure and report, and FIs don't know which ratings to trust. Seneca ESG simplifies the ongoing task of using the right frameworks for each situation. ESG data management and reporting for corporates, custom analytics and scoring for FIs, all in a seamless platform that allows them to connect. With a three-year head start, our product is more mature than the rest, validated by recurring clients and sales pipeline from A-list partners. The company to date has been founder funded with mature product market and on track to 10X sales over the next 12 months. In a nascent and fragmented market that is up for grabs, we're raising our first round of outside capital to maintain our product lead, accelerate sales, and capture market share. Please get in touch if you'd like to learn more. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. If you're interested in ESG industry and are open to help Seneca ESG with the network in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Singapore, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Walt from R2Go. Based in Taiwan, they are creating immersive digital experiences for art, culture, and communities in the metaverse. Let's welcome Walt. Hello, I'm Walt, the co-founder of Artgo. Our vision is to make art and culture for everyone. So what's the problem in art and culture industry? For the creators, physical exhibition is expensive for surely. For visitors, it's so difficult to visit exhibition abroad. So Artgo was born. Article aims to build boundless, timeless metaverse for art, culture, and community. There are three key parts of the bridge gap. From the start, creators and museums can easily build their virtual experience by our build tool. After that, it can be launched to generate continuous revenue by ticket sales. Moreover, the ticket and souvenir people buy on article, it can be wear on their avatar to express themselves. Since the official launch in the last year, we already have 3,000 creators. 300 online exhibitions, including Yan Tian Tianchun and Netflix film Ta Jing, and generate 2 million visits in total. Whether in virtual gallery, physical museum, you can have immersive experience on article. Our team has serial entrepreneurial experience and product building capability from IBM and Microsoft, and research insight from Web3 DAO. With article, everyone can enjoy the art anywhere, anytime, just by one click. We are looking for a content partner and early investor. If you are interested, welcome to contact us. Thanks, Walt. If you're interested in arts or you know anyone who's working on art museum contents, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Carliff from Yes Hello. Based in Malaysia, Yes Hello is a cloud software built for small and medium enterprises to manage WhatsApp customer service. Let's welcome Carliff. Hi, my name is Khalif. I'm the founder and CEO at Yes Hello. Messaging is the future. In 2020, during lockdown, social DMs and messaging became the number one channel for small businesses to connect with their customers. 
However, there's still a problem. What we saw with our customers is that they reply slow because they're using the wrong tools. They are uh, not sure how to use it, so the workflows is messy. And they're working in silos where they're working alone. What we're going to do is we're going to solve that problem with our WhatsApp command center. And that is why Yes Hello was built. We will now unify all online channels into one team inbox, we gamify your team's day-to-day -day activities and create total transparency to solve the black box issue. Instead of having messy workflows like this, now teams can help each other, scale your, your sales and management can see what everybody is doing. We are currently in nine countries with 50 live customers generating 40,000 ringgit in revenues with 94% retention rate. And why our solution works is we solve our clients' issues with the triangle model. And our team currently is looking to raise 1 million ringgit in funding to get to our next milestone of 300 live customers by end of 2023 with the goal of having 10,000 customers paying us 5,000 US dollars by 2026. So if you are interested in partnering, I'm open to conversations. My name is Khalif. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Khalif. If you're looking to connect with Yes Hello and can provide guidance on how to grow and scale the business, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Florence from AI Guided. Based in Hong Kong, they are building an AI-based visual guiding system for the visually impaired and the elderly. Let's welcome Florence. Hello, I'm Florence from AI Guided, a technology company that provides an AI haptic guiding system. We found that the visually impaired are still using white cans and guide dogs that are inadequate. And recent technical solutions are weak since most of them use GPS but it's not precise or they use auditory feedback but it's not practical especially for outdoor use. Therefore, we've developed Guides, a smart bell that can solve all these problems in two steps. Use AI vision to detect obstacles and plan routes by real-time video streaming analysis. Use AI haptic to guide the user in the correct direction and obstacle-free regions like being guided with a pair of hands holding your waist. To realize this invention with 10 plus awards and 8 plus patents, we have a strong team of PhDs in AI, science and engineering, and we have strong partners for manufacturing from Hong Kong and Taiwan. Recently, our products have been featured in various exhibitions. Hence, we learned the demand from the general public and our B2B partner that are social enterprise and government departments, such as MTR Limited, Red Cross and Smart Government Lab. Hence, we are looking for a seed round investment. Thank you. Thanks, Florence. If you're interested in getting in touch with AI Guided to help with e-commerce networks in Southeast Asia, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Michael from Fitzcovery. They're an online marketplace for fitness activities starting from the Philippines and expanding to the rest of Asia. Let's welcome Michael. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fitzcovery. We're creating a marketplace platform for fitness in Southeast Asia. The fitness industry is becoming more and more digital, but this actually causes a big problem for a lot of trainers and gym owners because setting up your business online is really hard. There's so many different tools to use and integrate, and it's really expensive just to get started. And the bigger problem is that across Southeast Asia, a lot of the biggest global suppliers don't even operate there. This provides a huge opportunity for us. A lot of fitness trainers aren't techies, so they have a hard time navigating this landscape. But it's okay because we are here to pump them up. Our backgrounds combine both fitness and technology. I worked at Google for over seven years, and my partner Francis was mentored by the CTO of his university. Aside from that, we're fitness influencers being ambassadors for Under Armour, Spartan Race, and Garmin. We created fitness communities ourselves and fitness influencers ourselves. So we created Fitzcovery to solve the problems in the fitness industry. We do this in two main ways. Number one, we help them manage their offline business with our no-code platform. You can create a website for, to manage your business, membership, classes in just under 30 minutes. Then we help them scale online with our platform, allowing them to get customers from America and abroad. Because of this, set up it's a thousand times faster than anything else that's out there. The cost of managing is a hundred times cheaper than anything that's out there. And the best of all, we operate and work fully in Asia. Our clients are getting more customers and spending less costs in just after the first month. 
And in the past six months, we've been growing 15% per month, getting to 400 vendors and 5,000 users. We're raising $5,000 in our pre-seed round. And if you're excited as I am, let's get after these gains. Thanks, Michael. If you have fitness networks in Southeast Asia and can help fit recovery with market expansion in the region, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Felix from Skillio. Based in Singapore and focused on the Southeast Asia market, they are building a skills-based hiring community network for Gen Zs. Let's welcome Felix. Hi, I'm Felix from Skillio. Did you know that because of the pandemic, 25.4 million youth are unemployed in Southeast Asia. This is because in many of their home countries, there's a lack of work opportunities for youth. This is why 11.3% of youth are unemployed in the region. Even when there are opportunities available, many are underpaid or they do not have the skills for it. This is why we started Skillio, Southeast Asia first skills-based hiring Gen Z network for remote cross-border work opportunities. We solve the problems that you face through virtual upskilling and then placing them out with international companies expanding into Southeast Asia. Our unique methodology is a win-win for youth and employers. Youth who went through our placement are two times more employable and earn higher wages. Companies also save up to three times in expanding and understanding the Southeast Asia market. We make money through an income share agreement with our students and subscription with companies using our service. Skillio is solving an unmet need. This is shown in our growing talent community in Southeast Asia and repeated usage from our youth. We are looking for connections to companies and organizations looking to expand into the region so that together we can empower our youth and our next generation with the opportunities to succeed. Thank you. Thanks, Felix. If you're interested in helping our Skillio connect with small and medium enterprises and startups with the needs of hiring remote talents across Southeast Asia, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Alan from Dinoside Biosciences. Based in Singapore, their vision is to build next-generation bioreactors to democratize biotechnology. Let's welcome Alan. I'm Alan, CEO of Dinoside Biosciences. We're a team with a combined experience of over 50 years in biotech and company building. I received my PhD from Harvard and founded two startups prior. With the support of industry leaders and top professors in tech, biotech, and food, we looked at the space and found a vast and interconnected pain point under the surface, and let me share it with you. We had people coming to us for help in building bioreactors to make artificial meat, unrelated people coming to us for bioreactors for carbon capture, and for generating materials like spider silk and drugs, food, environment, new materials, and medicine. Under the surface, there was a single theme unifying it all, bioreactors. You put in cells and nutrients, you run a process, and you could get out anything. But we saw that the technology was old. Tubes and dials made them look like old computers and TVs. It was so expensive, tens of thousands of dollars per liter of capacity, and it wasn't connected to the internet. So from this point on, we started to build our company around a system to enable users to get in and do biotech. We reduced the cost of the bioreactor by 50 times, transforming it into a client device, a window to connect up to something far greater, the cloud, which holds the true value, data, knowledge, and connected understanding. This kind of environment exists when you want to build software, but it doesn't exist here. By doing this, we see explosions in the solutions that can help humanity. After getting excited responses from over 100 biotech and food companies, we will launch sales next year. Please contact us if you're interested to collaborate, invest, or get some bioreactors and invent the future. Thanks, Alan. If you're interested in their products and are open to help Dinosite connect with researchers and professors in the region, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Jason from Bintango. Based in Indonesia, they are building financial solutions, productivity, and monetization tools for creators. Let's welcome Jason. Hi, everyone. My name is Jason, and I'm the co-founder and CEO at Bintango. We see content creators everywhere these days, on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And while that photo or video is so easy to watch, being a content creator is one of the toughest jobs out there today. There's no guarantee of success, and it's difficult to monetize. At Bintango, we're solving this problem 
by connecting creators with brands, empowering businesses with our proprietary creator AI algorithm. For creators, we're providing the tools to accelerate their growth and earnings. For brands, we're turning our creators into digital sales teams, helping them expand their distribution channel and reach. In fact, we've proven our results with many brands achieving 10 times the revenue and 10 times the returns. We've achieved tremendous success in the past year. This year, 25,000 creators joined our platform and last month, over 10,000 transactions were done. I'm joined by my co-founders, Rika and Rahul, who bring over 25 years of experience in the creator economy and tech. If you're interested to learn more about the creator economy or how we can help your business expand in Southeast Asia, please feel free to reach out below. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. If you're a company looking to expand to Indonesia and are interested in learning more about Bintango and the creator community, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Carmen from Be Prepared. Based in Hong Kong, they're building a platform to help professionals develop careers with data-driven and personalized learning recommendations. Let's welcome Carmen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. I'm Carmen, we are Be Prepared. No doubt that studying cadet pilot interview or pilot license training, you have to be knowledgeable in subjects such as aerodynamic, meteorology, Meanwhile, keep evaluating your knowledge and focus on the unknown information. So Be Prepared is here to help future pilots self-evaluating their knowledge by personalized mock tests based on their current performance and space repetition that divide long hours of studying into multiple five-minute short review sessions. Even the cadet pilot interview process is competitive, with only 3% of candidates will be selected. 63% of these successful cases are Be Prepared users. Since the product was launched in 2022, Be Prepared was recommended by airline pilots across the world that help attract thousands of users from Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, and more. I was one of the students studying certificates in pilot license training. Jim and Tony are full-step programmer with IT certificates. That why we deeply understand how assessment-based interaction matters when it comes to higher education. We are looking for airlines, flight simulator company, university partnerships, and hope that we can meet more future pilots in Asia. Thank you for listening, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks, Carmen. If you're interested in Be Prepared and can help with university and learning institution networks in Asia, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Ken from Carful. Based in Hong Kong, they're building a car version of Airbnb to connect car owners and renters. Let's welcome Ken. Hi guys, I'm Ken, the founder and CEO of Carful. So Carful is basically the car version of Airbnb, and we aim to reduce the idle resources and encourage about the green travel options. Besides car sharing, we also want to build an app-based fintech system focused on car finance in the SEA market. About our car sharing platform, actually we are the middle platform connecting car owners and drivers. For car owners, they can upload their vehicles to our platform and earn the passive income. And for the drivers, they can enjoy our one-stop automatic on our rental services. And as the middle platform, we provide the technology and customer support also for the insurances. And about our innovative business model, Auto FinTech, we call it Drive Now and Pay Later. Actually, we want to use rental instead of purchase. And in our app-based meter system, the users can input their personal information and then we'll first do the auto profile checking and then we will issue the credit scoring report and then the customers can choose the available car model from the tier list and then they can also share back their vehicles to our platform as there is the car for your system. Since our soft launch in Google Play and websites on Mid Autumn, we already reached over 1,000 vehicles in our platform and then we finish about 1 million Hong Kong dollar deals. Carvoy is growing very fast. We already raised about 10 million Hong Kong dollars from the investor, and we are so happy to become part of Edwards community. So, we welcome different partners and investors. So, let's encourage about the green travel options and build a better world. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. 
If you're interested in what Carvel is doing and can help them connect with e-commerce networks in Southeast Asia, feel free to reach out. Now, we've finished the first section with AI and Southeast Asia startups demos. In the second part, we will have eight blockchain startups demo their products to you. First up, we have Gongtong from Hive Keychain. Founders from France and based in Taiwan, they're a non-custodial crypto wallet for gamers and content creators. Let's welcome Gongtong. Hi, my name is Gongtong Korea. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hive Keychain, a crypto wallet for gamers and content creators. With new dApps and games popping up on different chains, it can be overwhelming for users to keep up, especially when they need a different wallet on each chain. That's the problem we want to solve for our 100k Hive users and those to come by making our wallet the only one they'll ever need. We're a team of many talents. I'm a serial entrepreneur with over five years of experience working on blockchain projects. Cedric is a senior full-stack developer with experience leading teams. And our advisor, Matt Rosen, is the CPO of Splinterlands, one of the biggest Web3 gaming companies out there. We began our journey in 2020 when we bet on the Hive blockchain fast and fee-less transaction and decided to develop Hive Keychain's browser extension and mobile apps. By now, pretty much every major dApp on Hive uses Keychain and recommends it as their user's main wallet. And our bet proved right. Thanks to the rise of Splinterlands, Hive became one of the leading gaming chains and our user base quickly grew to six digits. To keep growing, we are planning to go multi-chain. Our users strongly support this move and they're especially looking forward to EVM chains and WAX integration. So far, we've raised over 200K from the Hive DAO thanks to our community support. We are now looking for seed investors and partners who share our vision. Thanks, Gontong. If you're interested in what Hive Keychain is building and can help them connect with EVM networks and WAX based DApps, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Henry from Depop.Space, a web free civic media platform. Let's welcome Henry. Hello, I'm Henry O presenting our civic media platform, Depop.Space. Recent events underscore the impermanence of our social media and the lack of control users have over their experience. These dynamics affect the most vulnerable, in particular activists and journalists. Let's use our imaginations to envision something different. Instead of disappearing content, permanence, Instead of billionaire control, community governance. Instead of susceptibility to external pressure, headless operations. That alternative is what we're building with depub.space. We launched our beta as soon as we could in Q1 of 2022 because we knew users who needed it right away. Despite limited functionality and no paid marketing, over 27,500 users are using depub.space today. Some of the notable use cases are Activists like Chapman Toe and journalists left jobless because of political pressure use depub.space to continue sharing news in Hong Kong and the PRC. One group in mainland China is using depub.space to document the PRC's COVID response that are censored from mainland media. Others publish banned books and other banned materials. My co-founders and I met in Hong Kong over 15 years ago when we collaborated on promoting open source technologies and creative commons to Hong Kong, Taiwan, and the PRC. We have extensive experience with social media advertising, and building products that users love. If you're someone who believes that technology is not just an investment, but also a tool for social change, we want to work with you, so please get in touch. We need resources to expand depub.space beyond Hong Kong, Taiwan, and the PRC. Thank you. Thanks, Henry. If you're interested in getting in touch with depub.space and are open to help them with market expansion in the region, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Justin from EBXP. Based in the States, they are a GameFi platform for Web2 and Web3 games. Let's welcome Justin. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and I'm the CEO of Elite XP. With the rise of play to earn games, gamers have now realized that they deserve to earn while spending countless hours playing the games that they love. However, currently there's no way for traditional gamers to earn while playing popular Web2 games such as League of Legends or Fortnite. So that's exactly what we're trying to do with Elite XP. We're a Web3 stat tracking platform combined with user-generated tournaments to enable traditional Web2 gamers to earn crypto based on how they play. So all they would have to do is enter into one of our daily tournaments and stake our XP token to wager against other players based on their in-game performance. So compared to other play-to-earn games, we actually generate revenue through taking a percentage of the daily wagers that happen on our platform, as well as through digital advertisements as we grow to scale. 
Currently, Elite XP is integrated with eight different Web2 games, including League of Legends, Fortnite, and more, combining for a total daily active user base of over 50 million users. So we just launched a, a version one of our beta in October with over 500 active users and currently 5,000 more on our wait list. We're also partnering with various gaming organizations to promote our platform as well. This is the founding team and we have experience in digital marketing, software development, and legal strategy. And the best part is, is that we're already experienced esports tech founders as we built an esports app that ranked seventh on the Korean app store and placed top 10 in one of the largest international startup competitions in Asia. So we're currently looking to raise a million dollars. We have 30% committed so far. So if you're interested, help us reward all gamers worldwide. Thanks. Thanks, Justin. If you're interested in getting in touch with EBXP to help with Southeast Asia market expansion and connecting with venture capitals, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have team from Pax Wallet. Based in Kazakhstan, they're building a mobile payment application that allows users to create virtual crypto cards and pay with cryptocurrency. Hi, I am Tim, the CEO of Pax Wallet, a mobile application which allows you to pay with your crypto using our virtual crypto cards. Cryptocurrencies claim to become the new financial system. However, there are still several problems people are encountering with trying to use crypto for daily payments, like fiat money. For example, few options for direct crypto payments and mostly with high fees. Complicated process of buying and paying with the crypto, especially for newbies. And a lot of scam risk associated with peer-to-peer -peer exchange. So we provide the solution, being an intermediary between banks and crypto exchange. And this is a win-win for all, because we provide banks with a lower customer acquisition costs and crypto exchange with high transaction volumes. This allows you to easily pay in crypto directly from your wallet using our crypto cards with lower fees than any other cards. All that and more in one application, so there is no need to hop between a number of apps to buy coffee and crypto. We have over a thousand early users for our closed web prototype, just bootstrapping without any marketing and launching only in Kazakhstan Astana. We got two local partners providing us with a user base and crypto fiat gateway to go to market in Central Asia. Our core team consists of people with three to five year experience in crypto space as founders and advisors, a place to earn projects, startup incubators, and even crypto exchange development. To step further on the path of making crypto and payments easier, we are looking for pre-seed investments, obtaining required licenses and certificates to operate globally, and banking and exchange partners in CAA region. Join and support us to make crypto our daily life. Thanks, Tim. If you're interested in getting in touch with Pax Wallet to help with Southeast Asia Payment Gateway Networks, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Jason from Ola Wealth. Based in Hong Kong, they're building a Web3 trading intelligence application. Let's welcome Jason. Hi, I'm Jason from Ola Wealth. We help retail traders to trade crypto with timely and trustworthy trading signals from the top traders. Tracking the top traders with us, even a novice trader can know when to sell and when to buy. We enable retail traders to follow the top traders at ease. Plus, they will have the chance to earn 50% annualized return as top traders, rather than losing money alone. We made the journey simple to all retail traders. In just a few clicks, they can compare and subscribe to the top traders, then trade according to the real-time signals at their own crypto exchange. All of this just costs a user a cup of coffee each month. 200 plus top traders being tracked from on-chain to off-chain can gain more exposure and followers on all the world. In the early stage of launch with referral marketing, it is amazing to see the fast growth in user and trade volume. We have also reached the top 5 finance app in Hong Kong. Also, our proven track record has earned us public recognition and corporate partnerships. This gained us growing media presence, KOL network, and users in Hong Kong. Our dedicated teams with years of experience across AI, quant trading, and cryptos area is ready to bring all the wealth users to a greater heights. So please join us as an exchange, our top traders, or influencer to help with more retail traders to win with the winners, trade better with good signals. Thanks, Jason. If you're in the web free space interested in what all the wealth is doing and have experience with the market expansion in Singapore and Taiwan, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Z from ProtoWorld. Based in Taiwan, they're building an open metaverse for artists and streamers to create 3D community spaces, galleries, and live events. Let's welcome Z. Hi, this is Z, co-founder and CEO of ProtoWorld. 
Portal World is a metaverse platform that helps content creators to build 3D community space with blockchain. Minecraft has shown us millions of users want to own their metaverse, and the mission of Portal World is to bring the power of world creation from gamers to artists, musicians, and streamers. Portal World provides the most intuitive and collaborative metaverse building experience in the market. It's a next-gen Minecraft where creators can use their own NFT to build unique virtual spaces with friends. Creators can share their space with their followers to build a community city together like a 3D Discord channel in the metaverse. With live events, mini games, they can connect with their followers like never before and monetize through their creator tokens. 300 NFT artists have joined our test program, building galleries and community spaces, hosting live events like NFT Treasure Hunt, and we will be officially launched in Ethereum early next year. We are a team of artists and developers. In the past six years, we use Game Engine to create VR theater, online parties and exhibitions. And that's how we found what next-gen creators are looking for, the freedom of creation. We are looking for partners and investors to build the most creative metaverse together. Thank you. Thanks, Z. If you're interested in metaverse and are looking to connect with Proto World, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Adikan from Nimble. Based in Kazakhstan, they are building a Web3 video sharing social network for NFT collectors, influencers, and content creators. Let's welcome Adikan. Hi, I'm Adil Khan, the CEO at Nimble. Nimble is a Web3 social media platform that turns every channel into a limited collection of channel tokens. These tokens can be traded within our NFT marketplace of content channels. Think of a mix between YouTube and OpenSea. So, basically Nimble is a content platform with an integrated NFT marketplace. Channels can be researched and traded and every single user is able to earn by supporting growing channels. The main problem that Nimble solves is figuring out a monetization model that doesn't involve advertising or private user data mining. Nimble is an adless social platform with a business model of an NFT marketplace. And numbers never lie. OpenSea generated over $360 million in revenue in 2021 alone. So this model, if executed well, can be extremely profitable for the platform, the creator and the viewer. So far, we've released version 0.01 to a closed list of over 5,000 beta testers connected with 40 mid to high tier YouTube channels with a total audience of 10 million followers, gathered over 12,000 user recordings. We're experienced techpreneurs. Our previous project, Blockchain University, has over 150 alumni Solidity developers and over 100 active students. We have experience building and deploying enterprise-grade software. We have previously raised $325,000 in pre-seed funding and are now announcing our seed round of $1.7 million. If you'd like to join our journey, feel free to reach out using the QR. Thanks, Adikon. If you're interested in Web3 social network and have experience in community building, feel free to reach out. Next up, we have Jay from Neomon. Founders from Hong Kong, they're building a crypto wallet for Web3 gamers. Let's welcome Jay. Web3 services require their users to lock in with a wallet. It became so annoying, especially when you're using a mobile, because you have to jump back and forth between the apps and the wallet. It's just such a terrible user experience. Therefore, developers are trying to build a wallet into their apps natively. However, it's just not feasible to build in-house wallets for most teams, because it takes so long and requires some very specific know-how. I'm Jay, CEO of Neomon. We are building an identity infrastructure for Web3 that streamlines Web3 experience for both businesses and its users. So what we are building exactly? We are providing API and SDK for developers to enable their users to create a wallet in just 30 seconds and to embed wallet features into their apps easily and to develop authenticator which could prove NFT ownership in real life. Security is always the top priority when you are building a wallet. Our R&D team comprises world-class cybersecurity and cryptography expert, which led by my co-founder Casey, who is an ex-Apple senior software engineer. More than 300k users have been entering into Web3 through Neomon. 
talk to us, especially if you build Web3 games or Web3 membership. We could help you start it quickly and securely. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. If you know any Web3 game studios in Southeast Asia and are interested in helping out Neomo with market expansion to Singapore, feel free to reach out. All right, that's a wrap to APRX Demo Day 25, where we get to witness the aspiring founders bringing innovation and disruptive technologies. Thank you so much for joining here with us today. Whether you are an investor, a business partner, or a customer, welcome to choose a few teams you're interested in to connect with, support them, and be part of their journey. Last but not least, we are looking for founders working on Web3, AI, IoT, and Southeast Asia to join AppWorks Accelerator. If you're interested in joining our community, you're welcome to apply to AppWorks Accelerator. We look forward to seeing you showcasing your team and the product on our next demo day. Thank you.